fishing industry in Erie has quite a long history, and included in that history are giant fish called sturgeon. Just last week, John Lass talked to about one sturgeon that made headlines in the city. Today, he has more stories to tell for this edition of The Last Word. Last Friday, we talked about the excitement that was created in 1991 when a huge sturgeon was brought to shore from Lake Erie. Today, let's go further back in time when catching a sturgeon in Erie wasn't such a big deal. Jerry Skripsack is one of Erie's top authorities on fishing, past and present. In fact, he wrote a book about how important fishing has been to the city. The book uh, covers uh, uh, the, the kind of the history of the commercial fishing industry in Erie was back in the 1920s was considered the freshwater fishing capital of the world. A chapter in Jerry's book is devoted to the Lake Erie sturgeon, a fish that can grow to be eight feet long, can weigh nearly 200 pounds, and can live to be 100 years old. Surprisingly, the sturgeon had no value in the early 1900s. And they were considered a nuisance. In fact, there was a, uh, a fish supplier located on a peninsula that uh, they would just take and kill the fish and let them, let them lay on a beach. And it's an area at the Prescott called Stinkhole. And that's for that reason, because they just, they just got so putrid. Erie fishermen eventually learned to value the sturgeon for its meat and eggs. Bob Wellington comes from a family of sturgeon fishermen. He has a picture of his grandfather and great-grandfather cleaning some large sturgeon on Freeport Beach in Northeast, circa 1900. They had big grappling hooks, and they would hook into the fish, and they could actually pull them up on shore using horses. Bob became an aquatic biologist for the Erie County Health Department. By that time, the Lake Erie sturgeon had become endangered. One day in August 2001, Bob had his big encounter with a huge sturgeon. It took place on Freeport Beach, the same location where his grandfather and great-grandfather had their picture taken about 100 years earlier. Bob was called to inspect this large sturgeon that washed onto shore. How big was it? Well. That's a yardstick in front of the fish. But it was easily over six feet, easily over six feet. So, whatever happened to that huge sturgeon on Freeport Beach? Bob says he left the fish to go get a more accurate measuring tool. He wanted to thoroughly examine the big whopper. But... By the time I got back, the fish was gone. People dumped it into the lake. They said they didn't want to fish that big, uh, smelling up the property. With the last word along the shores of Lake Erie, John Last, Erie News Now. And Jerry Scripps' book is titled Fortune and Fury, A History of Commercial Fishing in Erie. So many stories. Mm -hmm. It can be purchased at the Hagen History Center gift shop that's on West 6th Street right in the city of Erie. We'll be right back. <laughs> 